We came to the Sunshine Coast because uh, when we lived in Vancouver, we always were anticipating that it would be really lovely to have our own, you know, live work uh, studio space. There is a sense of um, spaciousness that fills my heart with joy when I come into this building, when I come into this place. When I drive up, up the driveway, I always feel a sense of uh, privacy, like I'm entering into a sanctuary. I designed a home and uh, because I'm a professional architect and an urban designer. It's not the first home that I've designed. I've designed a lot of other properties on the coast here. I've done about a dozen, I think. I designed a home so that it would fit uh, specifically the needs that we have as, as artists and individuals that enjoy the site where we live. I really f love the creative process and the creative energy and just arriving and coming through the studio. It's um, very stimulating and, and then you go into the house which is more private and quiet. The space down here, you know, right now as we're talking to you, we're looking into the ocean. And uh, there's a lot of glass down here as well, so we can see the trees, we can see the water. And when you walk in, it's lovely to have this sense of spaciousness. It's like you're just walking into. The other room that I really love is upstairs, uh, the office space and the living room upstairs because of the scale of the windows. You get this sense that everything disappears, like you are in touch with the sky and the landscape drops off. So there is this sense of connection with the, with the universe. How many bedrooms and how many bathrooms and uh, exactly how many square feet we do we have in this building is kind of a tricky question for us because it's not that kind of a building to start off with. One of the rooms currently is, uh, is a healing room, but sometimes it's a bedroom or sometimes it's a workspace. Adjacent to that is another room which right now is a guest bedroom, but sometimes it's a part of the studio. We can move a wall and uh, it joins the studio. If we don't want it as a part of the studio, we move the wall back and it becomes a bedroom. So it's a very flexible building. It's not designed in a traditional way where there are specific areas that have a specific function, except for bathrooms and kitchens. It doesn't really happen in this building. It's flexible. So when we first bought the land, there was an existing building where right now is the cottage. And uh, we fell in love with the property and we were going to tear it down. And then Bill looked carefully with his very brilliant eye and he said, oh, I think it's worth saving it. Uh, we added a, an addition to it, which has a lovely large uh, bathroom. And it has this small studio area in there that can be a master bedroom or a studio or a dance area. Uh, it has another bedroom, uh, kitchen. It's a very cozy place and we were very happy when we lived there. It just became too small for, as our business grew, we just needed more space. Not only the house, but the land has tremendous potential for income. Uh, the property that we are on is over two acres and it's, uh, it's basically right in town. It used to be not so rare, but it's becoming exceedingly rare. And it is uh, a subdividable lot. So it would be two lots with four houses. Well, the potential for four houses, yeah. if somebody wants to develop it that way. It's not going to be easy for us to leave here, but we have a granddaughter uh, that's uh, still quite young. She's six. She lives in London, England, and uh, we love her a lot and we'd like to spend more time with her. And also, I think that it's time for us. What we would like to see is a young, young family moving in here and actually passing on what we have created and have someone else take it over because it is a beautiful property and we would like to see somebody with a creative energy that can come in and appreciate what we have done and take it further. It's a beautiful place to be and it's a beautiful place to wake up and go to sleep and wake up again. 
So thank you, Bill, <laughs> for creating such a beautiful place. You're welcome. <laughs>